Good morning and happy Sabbath. Welcome to the Early Teen Sabbath School class at Daughter of Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church. Our story today is entitled, A Sign of Royalty, and it can be found in the book of Luke chapter 6, verses 27 through 36. Let's start with the word of prayer. Good morning, Heavenly Father. We are so grateful that you have seen fit to wake us up this morning, allow us to see another beautiful Sabbath day. And now as we learn about this sign of royal, royalty, we pray for blessings, wisdom from on high, and for that knowledge, Lord, so that we can share it with others. Bless us um, during our time in studying your word, forgive us of our sins, and bless each one under the sound of my voice. In your name we do pray. Amen. So our power text this week can be found in Luke chapter 6, verse 35. And it says, But love your enemies. Do good to them and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great. And you will be children of the Most High because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. And then our PowerPoint says, as sons and daughters of God, we can choose to love everyone. So boys, uh, young people, you see in the picture here, Jesus died for us, and he showed that he has love for all humanity not just those who serve him, but even those who were ungrateful, who crucified him. So this is a powerful lesson today. Have you ever felt someone was always out to get you? What did you do about it? Have you wished you were strong enough to put them in their place? Well, you could be like this man, a bully, but Jesus is going to teach us another idea that's better. A large crowd had gathered on the big level place. All types of people were there. Jesus and the 12 disciples went down to join them and Jesus began to talk. Everyone listened with attention. Jesus' words were so simple yet their message was deep and meaningful. As usual, some Roman soldiers stood on the edge of the crowd. A few Jewish priests listened too. Jesus talked about various blessings and woes. Then he started on a slightly different subject. He shared with them the secrets of experiencing real happiness. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on the cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even a sinner's love, even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners expecting to be repaid in full. But I tell you, Jesus said, love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. So, young people, Luke 6, verse 36 says, Be merciful, just as your father is merciful. So, 
Jesus is telling them something that we're not accustomed to. He's telling them to love their enemies. He's telling us to love our enemies and to do good to them, loan things to them. And he's going to give us a reward. I told you Jesus had a different idea, young people. Well, at this time, Jesus paused to watch the reactions of the upturned faces around him. He could see a few evil grins, many on Roman faces. He could see some scowls, many on priests' faces. He saw mixed expressions from the multitude. There was stirring. Some people were gathering their families and belongings and leaving. It wasn't even lunchtime. Those leaving early were careful not to go anywhere near the Roman soldiers. Those leaving early never heard the rest of Jesus' sermon. What was he asking of them? Well, for them, it was just too much. They did not want to hear any more. Toward evening, as most of the crowd was departing, one young man stayed seated near Jesus. Master, he asked after a few moments of silence, doesn't God give his blessings to those who obey him? Why should we do good things to our enemies? Young people, Jesus smiled at him. Young man, doesn't God send the sun and the rain on the obedient and the disobedient? Can't they all hear the birds sing on a beautiful spring morning? Why, yes, the boy responded thoughtfully. Doesn't God's mercy extend to everyone? Jesus asked again. I never thought of it that way, the young man responded truthfully. He was clearly open to new ideas. Serving God, Jesus explained, means being willing to be to others the way God is to us. Loving our enemies means we will always act in other people's best interest, even if they are determined to hurt us. We will pray for them. We will think of real ways of helping them. We will grant them the same rights and respect as we would like ourselves. I don't know if I could do that, the young man looked wistfully into the master's face. And that is exactly the point, Jesus smiled, knowing that once again, a young person would probably understand before the adults. It can be done only as we accept that love from God ourselves and then turn and reflect it onto, onto those around us, Jesus told him. It doesn't matter who they are. Loving like that is the true sign of royalty, of being sons and daughters of God. Wow. Wow. I don't know about you young people, but I find this to be very amazing. Jesus is saying that we are to love our enemies. We are to be kind to them. We are to loan to them, to give to them. The children of God are those who are basically partakers of his nature. It's not earthly rank. It's not birth, not nationality nationality. It's not even religious privilege that proves we are members of God's family. It's his love that embraces all of us, even the sinners whose hearts are not utterly closed to God's spirit will respond to kindness. They may give hate for hate, but they will also give love for love. So it's only the spirit of God that gives love for hatred. To be kind to the unthankful and to the evil, to do good hoping for nothing again, is the insignia of the royalty of heaven. 
the sure token by which the children of the highest reveal their high estate. So young people, being kind, even if you may be unthankful sometimes, we still have the royalty of heaven. We are royalty. And so we should be happy that we serve a God who says as sons and daughters of his, we can choose to love everyone. Enjoy this song about royalty. you enjoyed that and remember we are royalty let's close out with prayer thank you heavenly father for this story thank you for your son who exemplified what royalty means that means we love we make the choice to love others regardless of their actions so god we ask that you give each of us your sons your daughters a clearer picture of your love of you so that we can go and reflect your love to others, even those who treat us badly. Help us, Father, to get stronger, to grow every day by studying your word, and we know that we will be blessed, we will be able to endure unto the end. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this story. Help us to share it with others. Forgive us of our sins. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, young people, for joining me today for Sabbath School. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.